Hello and welcome to the channel. The whole Progressives Congress APC on the Independent National Electoral Commission INEC has both filed petitions of their own dismissing the presidential candidate of Labour Party, Peter Obi, on the grounds that he, Peter Obi, was not even a member of the Labour Party as at the time of the election. <laughs> Amazing, right? Stay tuned for details, but first, subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you. APC INEC to poll tribunal. OB's petition, a waste of time. LP's candidate was PDP member when he picked tickets. Election conducted in compliance with electoral acts. Agency insists. Labour Party LP presidential candidate Peter Obi's petition before the election tribunal lacks merit. The whole Progressives Congress APC on the Independent National Electoral Commission INEC submitted yesterday. To the APC on the Electoral Commission, the petition, which is a waste of time, should be dismissed. LP and OB are challenging the victory of President-elect Bola Tinubu of APC, winner of the February 25th election on grounds of alleged non-qualification and non-compliance, among others. In their separate responses filed before the Presidential Election Petition Court, PEPC, last night, the APC and INEC urged the court to dismiss the petition for being unmeritorious. They are querying the competence of the petition on the grounds on which it was premised. APC in its response filed at the PEPC Secretariat in Abuja by Thomas Ojo, a member of the party's legal team led by Latif Agbemi son, faulted the petition on many grounds. It also challenged the court's jurisdiction to hear the petition on the grounds that it is, among others, incompetent. Among APC's grounds for challenging the competence of the petition are that OB was not a valid member of the LP as at the time of the election on the exclusion of Atiku Abubakar and his party as a party to the petition, among others. On OB's claim to being a member of the LP, the APC argued that he was a member of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, until May 24, 2022, when he was screened as the party's presidential aspirant in April 2023. The APC stated that OB participated in PDP screening exercise and was cleared to contest the presidential election as an aspirant. It added, the first petitioner, OB purportedly resigned his membership of People's Democratic Party on 24 May 2022 to purportedly join the second petitioner, LP, on 27 May 2022. The second petitioner conducted its presidential primary on 30 May 2022, which purportedly produced the first petitioner and its candidate, which time contravened Section 77 three of the electoral act for him to contest the primary election as a member of the second petitioner. The first petitioner was not a member of the second petitioner as at the time of his alleged sponsorship, whereas by the mandatory provisions of section 77, 1, 2 and 3 of the electoral act 2022, a political party shall maintain a register and shall make such register available to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, not later than 30 days before the date fixed for the party primaries, congresses, and convention. All the presidential candidates of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, were screened on 29 April 2022, an exercise in which the first petitioner hearing participated and was cleared to contest while being a member of the party. The first petitioner hearing resigned his membership of the PDP on Thursday, 26 May 2022, and joined the Labour Party the following day, being 27 May 2022. 
The second petitioner hearing conducted its presidential primary on 30th May 2022, which produced the first petitioner as the candidate it intended to sponsor in the general election. By Section 77.3 of the Electoral Act 2022, the second petitioner is mandated to have submitted its comprehensive register of members to the first respondent, INEC, 30 days before its presidential primary. That is to say, the said register of members must have been submitted to the first respondent on or before 30th April 2022. The first petitioner, as at 30th April 2022, was still a member of the PDP, and his name was not and could not have been in the register of members submitted by the second petitioner to its respondent. To the first respondent, on the non-inclusion of article, the APC wondered why OB on its party excluded the PDP on its candidate from their petition, having admitted that the PDP candidate came second in the election. It added that it would amount to a breach of Atiku's right to fair hearing should the court grant OB's relief to declare him winner and void Atiku's votes without hearing him. INEC argued that as against the claim by OB and his party, it conducted the election in full compliance with relevant laws and challenges the petitioners to prove the contrary. Subscribe, like, share, comment and please turn the notification bell on. Thank you. Recall that the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, LP, Peter O.B., had filed his petition to challenge the victory of Bola Tinubu of the Hall Progressives Congress APC in the 25th February election. Mr. O.B., who came third in the election, filed his petition to challenge the outcome of the poll at the presidential election petition court in Abuja at about midnight. He alleged that the election was characterized by various irregularities, including the non-qualification of Mr. Tinubu and his running mate, Kashim Shetima, to contest the election. He also alleged that Mr. Tinubu failed to win the majority of the lawful votes cast in the election, and just as he could not secure one quarter of the lawful votes cast in the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, Abuja. He also alleged that the election was conducted in substantial non-compliance with the provision of the law. That's the news, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye.